Welcome back to another episode of This Old Boat. Okay, maybe that was a little over the top. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get our next video started. Welcome back to another exciting and thrill-filled adventure with DIY Nautical Dream. Hi guys, welcome back. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. And please watch our video from the very beginning up until the end. Perfect! In case you missed it in last week's update, we finally got around to fitting that last plywood panel. This is the toughest one to fit because of all the curvy edges and things like that. We have a pretty decent fit. We're gonna go ahead and go with this. We have good edge margin on both sides and it's a nice clean fit against the bulkhead face area as well. So all in all, good first effort on the panel. It fits just the way we want it. And here's a little sneak peek on the top side. Here you can see how it fits in really good on the sides there. And that's what it looks like. So eventually it'll be sealed in with a lot of thickened epoxy and fiberglass and a permanent part of the boat. Up next, it was time to tackle the job we have been putting off and thinking our way through and kind of just really apprehensive to get started on well now we're in it and we're making a plan and we're following through with it and we want to clear away that top layer of rotted plywood all the way down to the bare fiberglass below so as you can see here we finally worked our way down to the bare fiberglass down below it's a very thin layer of fiberglass so we had to be really careful not to break that and chip it away especially the section right over the bulkhead but all in all it turned out pretty good and of course we made a big mess, so anytime we make a big mess, we know we're doing something right. So in case you missed last week's video and you like this sort of thing, go back, give it a watch, check it out. We hope you like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'm Rich. Together, Together we, we make, make DIY, DIY nautical dream. dream. Uh. Um. <laughs> 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 Alright, so let's go proceed to our project this week, Kenny. Oh yeah. What we got going on? Man, we're getting into it now. We've finally made a decision. We are doing the over the bulkhead bridge repair. Okay, yep. Yeah, so this is going to be the start of it. And uh, we're going to take our time. We're going to think our way through this. 
we're not going to go in too far too fast that we have to grind or back Rush. something out yeah. later because this is going to be lots of fiberglass and epoxy and all kinds of structure and everything going on so this is kind of this is kind of out of our little element here a little new to us so we're going to take our time we want to get this right so hopefully everything will turn out good yep. and we'll make something better than it was before and we are ready to begin the repairs where we cut out all of the excessive fiberglass oh yeah more fun with that you know you guys saw us grind out all that extra fiberglass that they just kind of slapped up there haphazardly and really didn't have any value to what they did so we cut all that out also there was a few leaks in that area as well so it's normal yeah yeah <laughs> that, it leaks are normal but so we ground all that out and now we have to clean it up and do a little bit more fine grinding on it with the wire wheel and then it'll be ready to do what? Oh, we'll put some more thickened epoxy mm -hmm. and some more wet layup fiberglass over the top of that. So it's going to get very messy. All right. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to show you our update this week. Yep. Stay Hang tuned. in there. Yep. It's going to get messy on this one. So <laughs> let's have some fun. Okay. See ya. <laughs> the surface. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. All we wanted to do was to scuff these areas up so the epoxy and fiberglass will have something to stick to. You want to scuff it up. Right here, we're just using a paintbrush and some acetone, and we're just trying to brush off a lot of that dust and get into the grooves and stuff there with the acetone to help dry up if there's any moisture or anything like that. And it just provides a really clean surface. Okay, I think we got it. Really just want to clean it. Just want to clean it. All right, so we made up some thick and epoxy roll. Hopefully it's thick enough. See, it's pretty thick. It's not dripping off. But as it starts to activate, it does get a little warmer and it starts to get a little bit more runny. So we want to get it applied before it gets to that point. What we're doing here is going to take several applications. We're not going to get it all done in one shot. But really all we're trying to do is just fill in these voids here because eventually we're going to start putting... Uh, fiberglass up in here over it so we need to make some smoother radiuses things like that you can already tell I didn't even come close to making very much for this first patch we're gonna be mixing a lot today that's all right that's a little part of the fun I think I'm gonna use a smaller cup too because it's just easier for me to scoop it all and manage it better We're just trying to get it down inside the little cracks and crevices. Just anywhere moisture could accumulate or find a pathway back in. We want to remove that possibility. And we're hoping to smooth this up enough that we could put some fiberglass over it just to tie everything together. That was definitely not enough. That was only three pumps and it went fast. So we're just going to try to continue to do more like that. Um, smooth a little bit over here. Probably get a little bit more in here because this is a common area on the other side where we found leaks. And then we need to start filling in more here and then get up in this area as well. And maybe get this to be smooth enough we can put some cloth over, some fiberglass cloth over it. So we'll see. Right now we got to go make some more epoxy. All right, here we go. Second batch.
Seems like we're gonna have to make a little bit more, huh? Yeah, we gotta make some more. Three more pumps, probably. All right. All right, so what's up next is we're gonna put a strip of cloth here and a strip of fiberglass cloth there. And we're gonna try and make it as nice as we can. There's gonna be a few air bubbles in there, etc. but we're really just trying to seal all this in, tie it all together. I'm not really going for hardcore structure. I think that's what we're gonna do. So see how it goes. It's gonna be messy. Something like that. Of course, we're gonna wet it out. All right, we have some epoxy mixed up here. And now we're just gonna wet out this cloth. I kind of cheat a little bit by using the thickened epoxy, but it does a really good job of holding everything in place while we do this. Because fiberglassing overhead is never fun and it's always messy. Like I said, we're gonna have some air bubbles because we have some sharp spots of junk that's hanging down, things like that. We're not going for a rocket ship structure here. Just trying to tie together our work, really. Some of it looks like air bubbles, and that's just because of the epoxy behind it, and some of it is air bubbles, so. Hopefully we can minimize the air bubbles as much as we can, as much as possible. I actually kind of enjoy this. It's a little uh, stressing at the same time, but I do enjoy doing it. I, I guess I do want I want to see the uh, transformation when it's all done. For, that kind of provides some satisfaction. So we didn't get uh, engineering disposition coverage on this, but we're working it freestyle. <laughs> no plan. No engineering. Like I said, some of this looks dry, or like air bubbles are underneath it. But, you have that epoxy under there, so you need to keep that in mind, you know. All air bubbles. I think we'll have a really nice bond. I think this will turn out pretty good. Yeah, that looks alright. Alright, we're good with that. Anything more starts to just really make it worse. Let's see what we have here. So, just a little bit, tying it all together. We're really just tying it together, sealing it. We don't want any moisture to get in those crevices. So we filled everything in with like a fillet and then just put some light cloth over the top of it and we'll let that cure. It's not really structural. If we were going to go structural, we would have went thicker cloth. We will go structural back here, across this as a bridge, but we're not quite at that point yet. We're going to set up for that next, but we're not there right now. So here's a couple shots of some of the epoxy and fiberglass repair work we did. We filled those big cracks and voids in with thickened epoxy and then overlaid it with a couple layers of fiberglass cloth just to tie it all together. And then here you can see where we trimmed away all that rotted plywood and just bared down to the surface of the fiberglass there. We'll clean it up and that surface will be ready for installing the next layer of fiberglass and hopefully a section of plywood. Okay, so we have it in there. We have this area here, filleted and glassed in. And then as you saw, I don't know how much of you saw or not, but we have two layers of fiberglass on the bottom. And then we tried to get a little bit of fillet action going on in the edges here. 
we're gonna have to come back and do that we just didn't uh it got kind of hectic i probably should have put the fillet in a little bit thicker first and then put the plywood in but anyways we'll get it we're just gonna have to let this set up and we'll come back and do that because we want to also wrap up the glass up the side here after we fill it same thing over here and we want to lay it across the top of the plywood so that's going to be fine that'll work into our secondary plan that'll be our plan b i was going to try and do it all at once but that's just not going to work i don't know how much of that you saw because my head was kind of in the way but um yeah we we definitely <laughs> definitely made a mess that time for sure so if we made a mess it must be good so we'll see how this all turns out but you can see we fiberglassed up against the bottom of the plywood and we saturated the plywood really well with resin before we put it on top of the heavily saturated fiberglass i think we'll get a good bond and then we'll coat everything with more fiberglass later so all in all we made one heck of a mess and it dripped all down here as well i think we wiped up most of the big drips and yeah so we'll just let that set up and then we'll come back and hit it hard again next time with lots of uh thickened epoxy in the edges there and then wrapping some fiberglass up the side walls here yep so we really just want to strengthen this area up here because it is over the doorway and it is over a bulkhead. They didn't have much structure over there, but we're going to add some just to be on the safe side. We're going to put some heavy cloth over the top of the plywood, a couple layers, a couple layers wrapped up the sides. So we're going to make it a little bit stronger and then uh, hopefully it'll turn out. So we'll see. It's an experiment. It's all an experiment. So <laughs> anyways, that's what we got going on. We made a mess that usually means that things are going to turn out well so we'll see stay tuned all right here's a couple of pictures of the new plywood core being fiberglassed into place we laid down a nice layer of epoxy saturated fiberglass and then set the plywood on the top of it clamped it into place we're going to go ahead and let that cure like that and then after that we'll lay fiberglass over the top of that at a later date and fill in those radiuses and edges on the sides with a lot of thickened epoxy. We're gonna make sure this thing's going nowhere fast. It's gonna be stronger than ever. We could probably lift the boat from this area when we're done. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. We're back guys yeah we're back that was kind of messy uh in a little state of shock after all that a lot of grinding a lot of dust a lot of fiberglass a lot of thickened epoxy and uh yeah we're getting into it so if you guys like this kind of stuff that's what we're gonna be doing for a while yep. for you know, until we until we get through this section but it's fun but it's kind of nerve-wracking at the same time because i'm learning basically as we go i just never done anything like this before so we're taking our time and thinking our way through it so we want to make sure we don't make any mistakes we have to grind out later. And it turned out better than 
the loose fiberglass. Oh yeah, it was hard to go wrong with that. I mean, anything would be better an improvement over that. But yeah, we feel like it turned out better than what was in there before. Yeah. Better than what their intent was, anyways. Mm -hmm. So we had a little bit better follow through on it, and I think it's going to be a much better repair in the long run. We just got to see our way through on this. So. Yep. And as you see, we also fix the leak in that area. Oh yeah, took care of the ones that we could see, anyways. Yeah. So. <laughs> We added a small strip of fiberglass and thickened epoxy to hold the new plywood in place. So that's the beginning of the bridge over the bulkhead repair. So taking our slow steps on this one. Sweet time. Yeah, we want to make sure we get this right. We don't want to do it wrong and then, you know, have to cut it back out or whatever. We just, we really just have one shot to do this and we really want to get it right. So taking our time. Either get it right or get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's coming along. I feel pretty good about it. It's going to be better than what was in there before because everything else was oh, yeah, for sure. pretty much rotted. Good so, job, honey. Yep. Tell, tell us what your thoughts are on the repair and what we're attempting to do and maybe what you would have done different. It's always nice to hear. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Always happy to hear from you. All right, so stay tuned, guys. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. Right down here. Ding, ding, ding. And please watch our video from the very beginning up until the end. Oh yeah, we really appreciate it when you do that. And we appreciate all the new subscribers that have joined lately. It's really nice to see the growth of the channel and all the new subscribers and the views that are coming in and all that. We just really can't say it enough. We appreciate each and every one of you that have been with us for the long haul and all the new subscribers as well. Thank you very much. And also thank you to our patrons and paying members. That's right. We really appreciate <laughs> you guys. Thank you so much. And if anybody wants to join and become a patron, we really appreciate it. The link to our Patreon site is in the notes up above. And if you want to become a channel member through YouTube, you can always hit the join button down below. And we'd, like, we'd be happy to have you on board as well. So thank you to everybody who's, who's supporting us. Channel. Both of the Davids. And we just appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so stay tuned, guys. See you next week. All right, we'll see you. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. All right, that's it. See you. All right, action. Take 20. <laughs> Dang, if I only hit record. Man. <laughs> I think you did. Okay. <laughs>